Good morning. I'm Claudia. This is my Wonderless Camino. Welcome to my channel. Today is day 10 of the Camino de Santiago, uh, Frances. Uh, it is 6.42, 10 degrees, Saturday, September 23rd. I am just leaving Nehera. Today I'm walking to Santo Domingo de la Calzada. It is 20 kilometers, so it shouldn't take me too long. Although, um, I think there is, uh, we're going up a mountain again. So we'll see how long that takes. Um, it feels brisk out. I'm wearing shorts, but I have my vest on and I'm fine. Uh, yeah, a lot of pilgrims already left from my albergue. Uh, the large Korean group was getting ready to go. So can you imagine 23 people in the kitchen uh, getting their stuff organized? Yeah, okay, so I'll talk to you later. That's the sofa. It's 7.46, so it took about an hour to get here. Beautiful walk. It's re I feel like it's colder up here, I guess because we came up that uh, mountain too. So the elevation here is a bit higher, so even walking, I feel colder. I haven't, like I warmed up going up the hill or the mountain, and then here, I, it's chilly. Um, yeah, I feel like I need to put on my warmer layer um, and maybe change into pants, or maybe I'll get my rain pants out, put it over my shorts. It feels cold. Um, so I just stopped in a sofa, um, had a coffee, <laughs> and uh, my Korean friend who I made last night, who I can't remember her name, or I don't think we exchanged names, um, she bought me my coffee and she gave me a fig. How sweet. They are the nicest people. The nicest people. Uh, so, just leaving a sofa, and now I only have 15 kilometers to go. Um, it's, I think it's like 9 o'clock. So uh, it is 9 a.m. Been walking for two hours. Um, minus, I mean, plus, I think I stopped for maybe 15 or 20 minutes, but walking for two hours, nine kilometers done, uh, probably 11 or 12 more to go. Um, someone left me a comment asking about what app I'm using while on the Camino and if it works without data or Wi-Fi. So uh, I actually bought data via Airlo and it's an eSIM and it's been working fantastic. So I usually have it on during the day. Um, that way my family can track me via Google Maps as I shared my location. Um, but I did try out the app that I'm using is called Buen Camino. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, 
and I did try it out without having my data on or Wi-Fi and it works as long as you have your location on your phone on so it shouldn't be a problem um, what I really like about the app is you can modify the stage you're walking so it has the stages as pie uh, recommended by the books but then you can go in and edit and put the stages you're walking and it lets you know what the elevation is how many kilometers is road walking or path walking trail um, and uh, and what towns you're walking through and what the distance between the towns are and then if you click on the towns it will tell you what the towns have um, it'll also give you notices like uh, you know it's going to be 16 kilometers there's nowhere to get water or things like that and while you're walking if you go into my daily stage it will show you how much you've walked or it'll show you how much is left of your day to walk so it's been really helpful uh, but the, uh, so far some places are really well marked so you could do it without the app. Um, you just have to be paying attention for the arrows. Uh, yeah, so that's that. I hope I answered your question. beautiful this would have been. <sighs> See we now? See we now? I see Santa Domingo de la Calzada. It is 11 a.m. It says I've walked 17 kilometers, so that means I'm still four kilometers away. Could be. Uh, yeah, it's a great walk. It's chilly, but the sun's out, which is really nice. I cannot imagine doing this in the summer. There's absolutely no shade. Um, so, if it's a hot day, I would suggest get up early and try to get it done first thing in the morning, not in the afternoon because there is no shade. And it's been mostly just this gravel path, which isn't too bad to walk on. Yeah, another great day, almost done. I made it. I'm in uh, um, Santo Domingo de la Calzada. Here is the cathedral. Kind of funny, you can't see. Um, it is 11:43. Just trying to find where the market is. South South of the cathedral. And I booked a pension for tonight and didn't realize that it's not uh, close to um, the center of town. I think I'm like a 10 minute walk, which isn't much. I just would have liked it to be in the center. Because then, you know, it just makes it easier to walk around and check out stuff. 
even to like come out at night. So I booked this last minute. It is a bedroom. And a bathroom. So this is my room, just for me. C for Claudia. Um, it was 30 euros. It's about an eight minute walk from like the center of town. I have a kitchen. Oh, there's food in here. I forgot to ask. Uh, I wanted to get some butter. I don't know if there's butter. Um, but I can wash for free. Uh, there's an oven. And I can dry the clothes out here, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a shower. Um, this is the living room. And then there is a shared bathroom between two rooms, and those people are here. So, um, there's a light here. So shower. She gave me a key to lock the bathroom of the day. So yeah, for 30 euros for the night, it's not bad. I ended up buying some cheese and bread. So I'm gonna have that, and then I'm gonna head into town. Okay, so did my laundry. Now just heading down to check out the cathedral. And I met uh, the one uh, uh, family in the one room. And it's a father and daughter from Taiwan. Very nice people. Um, this is their rest day. So they're just taking it easy. Um, and they were gonna, they're really happy they have a, a place with a kitchen because they were making food. Uh, it smelled delicious. So I'm just gonna head down. I felt kind of a little bit, you know, because it's, uh, I've never, been in a uh, you know shared it's an apartment and you share with uh, two other rooms I was kind of worried because I didn't know who else was gonna be there so far so good and it was only 30 euros for the night and I like that am I going the right way yeah I am um, I like that I could do my laundry for free yay it just has to dry on the uh, balcony so hopefully it'll dry. It will dry. So for lunch I had um, I had bought a baguette and some cheese and ham. I made a sandwich. Uh, I had my apple. Uh, yeah, and that was it. And I made a coffee. They had coffee there. They also have rice and some other stuff, so we can use whatever we want. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy stuff to make dinner or if maybe I can find some menu del dia for maybe 13 euros i might do that we'll see so here we have the cathedral and that is a parador hotel so to go into the cathedral even if you are a pilgrim you have to pay five euros I think if you are a pilgrim, they should just let you go in for free. But that's just me. down the day. I'm just walking back from dinner. Um, my pension is not right in the old part of uh, uh, Santo Domingo de la Calzada. It's about a, I don't know, eight minute walk or so. So I just finished having dinner. Day was great. It was a little chilly today, which made it for a great walk. Um, yeah, I mean, not, not much to say. It was a short day, only is it 21 kilometers or something. Tomorrow, I think it's close to that too. 
Tomorrow I'm going to Belorado. Maybe it's a bit more. Um, as far as costs go today, it was 30 euros for the room in the pension. Uh, I just paid 15 euros for the menu del dia, which was, I got the salad with the shrimp um, and the beef cheeks, which were really good. And then the flan for dessert. And you can also have wine. I don't drink, so I usually just get water. Um, and then what else? Oh, I went to the grocery store and when I got here and I made, I got some bread, I got uh, cured ham, which is prosciutto, uh, a big honk of cheese, apple, banana, and six eggs. Um, tomorrow is Sunday. A lot of things are usually closed and I didn't want a chance getting to Colorado and then not having any food. So. Uh, I cooked up the eggs, so I'm taking that, and I made myself a sandwich, and I still have some bread and cheese left over, and then I have a banana and an apple. I still have walnuts, and I still have a yogurt from the other day, so I might have that tomorrow morning before I start walking, or on the walk, or, or like for my first stop. Um, so that is it. That's all. It was a beautiful day. Oh, I ran into my sisters, my Portuguese sisters. They were finishing up dinner. I think it was around like 3, 30, 4 o'clock. So I sat with them for a bit. Uh, they're doing shorter days. I think tomorrow they're only going to do 15 kilometers. Uh, yeah. So it was really nice seeing them and getting to sit and chat for a bit. Uh... That's all. That's all I got to say. Uh, I really liked staying at the pension. I did my laundry that was included so I didn't have to pay extra. I could use the washing machine. I could use the kitchen. Uh, yeah. There is a father and daughter from Taiwan there. And then uh, two Koreans just got there as I was leaving for dinner. Oh, and also the cathedral. They charge $5 to go see the cathedral. Cathedral, However, if you wait until eight o'clock when the mass is on, you can just go in for free, but you don't get to see the tomb of um, Santo Domingo. <coughs> That's the only difference. But you still get to go into the cathedral. Um, I already said tomorrow I'm going to Belorado and that is all for today. Thank you for watching um, and I'll catch you all tomorrow.